Hello, my name is Claudia Kaiser. I'm from Germany. I'm a social gerontologist and I'm very happy to be able to present to you on the topic of museums as places for cultural participation of people with dementia. So first of all, some facts that you probably will all know. Dementia is a, a, yeah, a challenge for um, many people and we see rising numbers of people diagnosed with dementia. In Germany it is at the moment around about 1.7 million people. And the challenges they face have to do with cognitive and perhaps also physical disabilities and functional limitations that have an effect on their everyday lives. We still have stigma associated with the disease and this can lead to withdrawal from social and cultural life and eventually to social isolation. Um, at the same time, we know from several studies that participation in social and cultural activities is very important to all of us, but also to people with dementia and their families, because it can contribute to preserve resources, to support normality, and to enhance well-being and quality of life. At the same time, we have the UN Convention of the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. So this is a legal commitment to full and effective participation and inclusion of people with disabilities in society and people with dementia yeah, are addressed with this uh, convention as well. So in Article 30, um, we even have a special article on participation in cultural life. And as you all know, museums are yeah, cultural institutions yeah, and public spaces. So for them, the UN Convention is a very important document. Yeah, so museums um, have the obligation, and many have also self-commitment, to be accessible for all citizens. And they are interested um, yeah, to be open for new visitors and have new target groups. Um, so many of them also want to raise publicity and foster a positive image. So they are all interested in doing something also for people with um, disabilities and people with dementia. Um, yeah, we know from again very many studies that arts can be a very powerful social psycho, um, psychosocial intervention for people with dementia. We know we still don't have a cure for dementia but we need interventions to alleviate or delay its effects to improve functioning, quality of life and satisfaction of people with dementia. Uh, so interventions should promote dignity, autonomy, reciprocity, lack of stigma and social integration. And there is evidence for therapeutic uh, benefits of arts interventions in various forms. It can be literary, performing or visual arts or other. Yeah, what I um, can present here only at a very short glance is uh, two studies that we did. One is Demut, an online survey of museums in North Rhine-Westphalia in Germany. Um, we wanted to get to know as much as possible about the activities that museums um, plan, have done or are doing, were doing um, for a better um, yeah, inclusion of people with disability and, um, dimen uh, and um, dementia. So we asked them about their activities, but also um, about organizational and educational concepts, um, whether or not they cooperated with other institutions in the region, and what they think are obstacles and success, success factors. Um, we also developed um, some good practice criteria and um, yeah, did some support for museums who uh, wanted to implement arts-based programs. So this is one very short one study 
and the other is a um, concrete intervention um, that we evaluated um, along yeah, all the processes of um, yeah, this project. So it is a three-year project based in Mönchengladbach in the west of Germany, um, a textile museum, um, is a very uh, powerful um, surrounding um, for people uh, who can really see and feel many things there. So it's not an arts museum, a textile museum, and um, based in the kind of history um, in this region. And so one thing was um, were guided tours for people with dementia and the other thing was that, um, yeah, there were um, training programs for so-called reminiscence companions. So people that then, after they were trained, uh, were able to um, accompany people with dementia um, during these guided tours. So, yeah, this was, in our opinion, a very powerful um, intervention combining these two things, volunteers on the one hand and then people with dementia on the other hand. And they had the chance to do reminiscence biography work um, in this museum. So finally, what are the conclusions? What needs to be done? Um, first of all, art museums have been pioneers in this um, topic on inclusion of people with dementia, but other types of museums we think are um, have a great potential yeah, and should or would like to engage more. And what we learned also from the survey is that more support is needed to extend activities and interventions. One is funding, yeah, but also um, organizational help in transfer of people um, and um, yeah, more training, more qualification is needed for staff and volunteers and also um, yeah, local organizations, partners, cooperation, networks is something that should be targeted at more. And finally, more research and dissemination is needed. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>